Hey, home learners, we're back, we're back, and we have a brand new Reader's Theater. Well, actually, this is an update from a video I made last year, but you guys watched it so many times that I thought, huh, I bet they like that one. So we are going to do it again today of the updated version. And the Reader's Theater is Little Red Hen, a really great story. Today, when we're reading along together, we'll be focusing on uh, the adverb to, as well as some questioning words. So this is a good story where we can try our voices and work on our narration. It makes reading a lot of fun. So let's look at the characters for today. We have narrator one and narrator two, and we can split this part. I can do half and you can do half. We have little red hen, of course, and then we have the dog, the cat, and the rat. And they have kind of small parts that repeat. So if you want a little part, maybe pick one of those characters. But if you want a big part, then you can do the red hen or the narrator. All right, so we'll take turns. You can read along with me, get some friends to do it along with you as well. Our narrator voice is, of course, calm and clear. And I'll start here. This is the story of, and then your part, Little Red Hen. I always like to introduce the story like that. Okay, narrator one, let's get the characters. Once upon a time, on a farm, there lived some animals. A rat, a cat, a dog, and a little red hen. And now with the little red hen, that's the name of the character. So we'll change that. All right, narrator two, that's your part. One fine morning, Little Red Hen found some wheat seeds. So fine morning is like a sunny morning, good weather. The wheat seeds, that's what they look like here, and they grow in to be wheat plants. Little Red Hen's turn, and Little Red Hen is going to have a different kind of voice. Uh, make sure when you're doing your voices, though, that I can still hear your words clearly. So it might be something like, Will you help me plant this wheat? And then of course we have a dog and a cat and a rat. So we'll split these parts up and they all kind of have the same excuses. Not I, it's too hot. Not I, I'm too tired. Not I, I'm too little. So I use different kind of voices for each, a dog, a cat, and a rat. Then Little Red Hen. Fine, then I will do it all by myself. So she has to do all the work of planting the seeds. Narrator one. So Little Red Hen planted the wheat and it grew big and tall. And that's what wheat looks like. Now, what's the next step? Once it grows tall, you have to chop it down. So Little Red Hen is going to ask, who will help me cut the wheat? You gotta cut it down. Do you think the dog, the cat, or the mouse will do it? The rat? Nope, same part. Okay, dog time. Not I, it's too hot. Cat time. Not I, I'm too tired. And the rat. Not I, I'm too little. Mm, excuses, excuses, excuses. <laughs> All right, little red hen, fine. Then I will do it all by myself. And then she goes to work. Narrator two. So little red hen cut the wheat all by herself. It's a lot of work, I think, for one little red hen. It'd be good to share the work with um, all the other farm animals, but they don't want to help at all. Okay, little red hen's turn. Who will help me mill the wheat? Now a mill, this is an old style mill, it just crushes it into flour, wheat flour. So that's what milling means, to make it into flour. And of course the dog, not I, it's too hot. And the cat, not I, I'm too tired. And the rat, not I, I'm too little. Excuses, excuses, excuses. All right, little red hen's gonna do it, fine then I will do it all by myself. And then she mills it into flour. 
Now, you know what you can do with flour, right? Let's read on. Narrator 1. So little red hen milled the wheat all by herself. And now it's time to bake it. So little red hen. Who will help me bake it in the oven? And of course, you know what dog's going to say. Not I. It's too hot. And the cat. Not I. I'm too tired. And the rat. Not I. I'm too little. All right. Little red hen. She's going to do it all by herself. Fine. Then I will do it all by myself. And there's the bread in the oven. Ooh, looking good. Narrator 2. And that is exactly what she did. She had made tasty bread. Okay, now look. Cat and dog and the rat come to say, Ooh, that smells so good. Let's see what little red hen says. Now that I have done all the work by myself, who will help me eat it? And this is where you get to decide what happens next. It can be any ending you want to the story. The little red hen did all the work herself. Do you think she's going to share that bread with her, uh, with the dog, the cat, and the rat? Or will she keep it all for herself? and not let anybody else have it? Or will something different happen? See if you can use the different characters. Try to use hen, dog, cat, and rat. And you can talk your own story, tell your story, write your story. I wanna see some really great endings. All right, home learners, this is great. Uh, thank you for joining me for this Reader's Theater. And I hope to see you again soon because we have a lot more fun coming up. Until then, bye-bye.